are you today? As you know, I love books. I love good stories and I love sharing them with you. And I have a great story for New Year's Eve. It's called The Night Before New Year's. It's by Natasha Wing. She's written many of those night before. We've read several of them. They're really good. And the illustrations again are by Amy Womper. So I hope you like this one as much as I do. And again, remember to subscribe so you don't ever miss a story. Okay, let's get started. Twas the last day of December, what we call New Year's Eve. A whole year had flown by. It was hard to believe. I feel that way. Wow, where did the year go? We were pretty excited. Our puppy was too. We cheered out with the old and in with the new. Oh, please, I begged. Can we stay up till midnight? For this one special evening, my parents told us, all right. So we drove to the store to buy party supplies. Hats, horns, and poppers, and sparkly bow ties. At home, we put up all the streamers and balloons, silver glitter and gold stars to twinkle up our rooms. A banner was hung by the ceiling with care in hopes that baby New Year soon would be there. It says, Happy New Year! We gathered for dinner, a grand late night feast. Mmm, pizza. Mm. All our family favorites. I ate three cupcakes at least. With a clink of our glasses, we all gave a toast, making New Year's resolutions my dad had the most. But I couldn't come up with one single vow. That's okay, said mom. You don't have to right now. After dinner was done, we played checkers and charades, then broke out the cards for a long game of spades. We shared fond memories. Oh, there were dozens. Holidays, camping trips, and new baby cousins. What would you think of when you think of the year? Mm. Our eyelids were droopy, so we ducked out for fresh air. That's a good idea. Then came in to watch the crowd lining Times Square. One more hour, said Dad, till the new year is here. Put on your hat, said Mom. Let's practice our cheer. Counting down from 10, Without a single mistake, we tooted horns and popped poppers. I was now wide awake. My brother chased our puppy all through the house. Then mom and dad noticed it was quiet as a mouse. Hmm. There was no sound of barking, no little boy chatter. So we sprang from the couch to see what was the matter. When what to our wandering eyes should appear but two party poopers. Oh. oh, make that three now. Oh, dear. It's hard staying up that late. While our puppy curled up on my father's lap, my brother and I went upstairs for a five-minute nap. Mm. Five minutes. We both soon were nestled all snug in our beds while visions of fireworks danced in our heads. The next thing I knew, it was sunny oh, and bright. Rats, we missed ringing in the new year last night. But that's when I came up with my resolution. I believe I absolutely will stay up for next New Year's Eve. 
<laughs> Isn't that a cute book? That is the night before New Year's. And friends, I hope you have a fabulous New Year's and a wonderful year ahead, full of all kinds of wonderful surprises and lots of good stories. And I hope you share them with me too. Okay, take care. See you now. Bye.